a resort named after a solo piece in an opera, but does it hit the high notes? How about a tour of the Sky Suite penthouse? A peek at a brand new East Village eatery? And a proper sampling of proper eats? All this and more coming at you from Aria Today. I just adore a penthouse view. Darling, I love you, but give me Las Vegas too. All right, get ready, because this adventure starts right now. It's a perfect spring morning at City Center on the Las Vegas Strip, and we are very much looking forward to getting reacquainted with what is surely the focal point of the whole complex, Aria. We start the day here on Aria Place. Over our heads, the Aria Express tram passes by on its way to Crystal's and Bellagio. The rising sun shines on those two curvy towers, housing more than 4,000 rooms and suites, one of them 40 stories, and the other 50. In the middle of the traffic circle is one of three water attractions at Aria designed by WET. This one is called Lumia. The water streams are programmed to dance in gracious and mesmerizing patterns. Behind the fountain is Aria's porte-cochere and lobby entrance. <laughs> we haven't even gotten inside and we're already dazzled. Aria's lobby is a stunner in any season with its soaring ceiling and skylit interior. For spring 2023, the theme in here is a playful child's bubble kit, and those iridescent bubbles just transform the place, what do you think? In the center of the room, the flower bed is set with colorful and delicate spring blooms, and in the smaller planter boxes are a variety of whimsical birdhouses, no two alike, very charming effect. This magnificent resort opened in 2009 and has become a favorite of so many visitors to Las Vegas over the years. And because it's the central feature here at City Center, just as arias are the focal point in operas, its name suits it. Every time we visit Aria, we just have to give some screen time to this, our favorite lobby bar. We just love the glass wall surrounding it with its border of spring grasses and flowers. Really cool decals. There's always a gorgeous arrangement on the lobby side and this one is a beauty, flowers and feathers. And oh yeah, the place also offers plush seating and mouth-watering cocktails in the perfect location between the casino and the lobby. Not gonna lie, we've had a dram or two in here ourselves. Across the back of the lobby are a couple of popular eateries, and off to our right, Crystal's Shopping. Now this is already creating a lot of buzz, and it just opened two weeks ago. It's a French Mediterranean restaurant from the Tao group called Cathedral. Just check out this dramatic tunnel. I admit, I want to know what's back there. Got my chance when we return later on. The alluring hallway ultimately leads to another hostess stand just inside the bar. And what a bar. Gorgeous room, table settings, and there's the main restaurant. Cathedral is an import from New York City's East Village, and the design of the original is as stunning as what we just saw. The menu emphasizes Mediterranean coastal cuisine. I think we need to book a reservation soon. Aria's 150,000 square foot casino. We didn't spend any time in here this trip. We had other things on our agenda, but Paula did have to stop and admire this whimsical display, flowers and butterflies right next to the tables. Din Tai Fung on the casino floor is the largest location in the USA for this Taiwanese restaurant chain, but we have yet to try it. 
It started in Taipei as a family business and became famous for steamed buns, paper thin and wrapped with 18 folds prepared in a bamboo steaming basket. All right, my friends, we have arrived at the Sky Suites lobby and we're off to the penthouse to see how the other half lives. It's a doorbell at the Sky Suites. No knocking necessary. <laughs> We're in the penthouse. Come on in. The Sky Suites one bedroom penthouse is a 1,465 square foot getaway high above the strip. These were freshly redone in 2021. The living room area features a cozy seating group, a workstation with high speed internet, and on the opposite wall, a credenza topped by a 52-inch HD TV. Something about this wall treatment makes us feel like we're above the clouds. We're big, big fans. Upon entering, you have your own little stone foyer. And a powder room. <laughs> Most of us don't even have this at home. Step through to the dining room and here's a beveled glass table with seating for six. Plus a bar, a kitchenette, and another big screen TV. Back here are all your kitchen necessities. A mini bar, sink, Keurig, and yeah, we could stay here for an indefinite period. Speaking of which, we need to give a great big shout out to our pals Rod and Lori for inviting us up for the grand tour. The next doorway leads to the bedroom, equipped with a king-sized bed decked out in custom Aria mattress and linens. I tell you what, it's hard to ignore these floor-to-ceiling windows in every room, but hold tight, we're going to get there in just a minute. And then there's this, a bathroom so spacious and so decked out, you just want to move in. There's a steam shower with a marble bench. a private room for the necessary, and even a little makeup alcove, a double vanity, yet another TV, and in the place of honor, an air bath whirlpool tub. So yeah, the whole suite has floor to ceiling windows with drop dead gorgeous views of the Las Vegas Strip. Directly below us, that's Aria Place, the traffic circle, and the tram going by. Off to our right, we've got a bird's eye view of the pools at Park MGM and Nomad. And over there, the wonky Veer Towers and the sleek Waldorf Astoria. We could stand here all day, but you want to know something? <laughs> it's not our room. Back at ground level, our next stop is the North Lobby. There are always floral designs in this space that tie in with the lobby theme, but in here, rather than bubbles, we have LED illuminated dandelion wisps among the blooms and painted on the columns as well. This lobby is the gateway to the promenade level at Aria and our next destination. On the promenade level are several fine dining establishments. The pool, the world-class spa, the huge Aria convention area, and proper eats. Since the resort's opening, this has been the location of Aria's buffet, but by necessity, of course, that closed in 2020. Just a few months ago, it was reborn as this, the Proper Eats Food Hall. The food stations are unique offerings from all over, and by the way it works, you order on your phone and are notified when everything is ready for pickup. Proper Eats is brought to us by the creative folks at Clique Hospitality, and our first impression is that the space is really appealing. The color scheme and materials are warm and comfortable. 
the seating arrangement is uncrowded, and the food stations are situated around the perimeter. Let's take them one by one. Egghead had them lining up before 7 a.m. this morning. It's an offering from Tao Group that specializes in egg sandwiches served on potato brioche buns. Paula asks herself, how did she resist one of those? Next door, Wexler's Deli is a Los Angeles original serving bagels and sandwiches in the best Jewish deli style. And if you want to go all out, how about the Mo Green topped with caviar? Soulbird is a London import coming to us from chef and TV personality Judy Jew. The star on the menu is a double fried chicken served up in a style that celebrates her Korean American heritage. Next up, pizza. But not chain pizza. It's pizza brought to you by famed DJ and music producer Steve Aoki. Pizza Aoki bakes up thin crust New York style pizza and get this, the names come from Steve's music repertoire. Our first visit was early in the morning, but we love the clever signage letting us know when these venues will open. So far, those who track such things tell us that Lola's Burgers has been the top seller at Proper Eats. The Smash Burger is the favorite, a combination of double patties, melted cheese, toppings, and a buttery bun. At Laughing Buddha, they're making ramen bowls with pork or vegetarian option. And reviews say don't miss the bao buns. Shalom Y'all comes to us from Portland, Oregon, an establishment renowned for their old world homemade hummus as well as other casual Mediterranean fare. Look at this, how beautiful. It's Tamaki Bar out of Encinitas, California. And you're going to want to grab a seat at that counter to watch the chef prepare superbly fresh hand rolls just for you. This is Las Vegas, and even a food hall ought to have a bar, right? And this being Las Vegas, it ought to be a gorgeous bar, right? Welcome to the proper bar, just next to the food stalls and looking out over Aria's pool deck. In here, you can order all the classic cocktails, as well as drinks specifically designed to pair with the food at the various proper eat stalls. Is this room stunning or what? On the far end of Proper Eats, there's a concierge desk and a lounge with a huge marble dining table, plush couches and chairs, and a direct line to the proper bar. What a terrific design. Right out on the promenade is the big morning draw for Aria convention goers, a coffee stand and display case filled with over-the-top donuts and pastries. This is Easy Donuts, and though Paula may have passed on that egg sandwich, she couldn't resist one of these. All right, ladies and gentlemen, part of the perks of coming out first thing in the morning and filming is I get to have a treat. This is a peach cobbler donut. You can see if I zoom in, there is in fact peach filling on this. I asked for a fork and a knife because of course I knew I was gonna make a big mess all right, you can't see me, but I'm gonna try to eat this. All right, where there's a will, there's a way. I propped my camera up on a napkin holder. Here is my peach cobbler donut. It's a very fresh donut. It's not real heavy. Mm. So I didn't get a lot of the peach filling. I'm gonna dig out a little bit more. Just gonna taste the filling. Not a lot of peaches in it. It's still very refreshing. That is my nutritious, wonderful breakfast, a peach cobbler donut. <laughs> now here's a fun fact. Tucked behind the donut stand is Easy's Cocktail Lounge, a speakeasy that's open on weekends and features live music. 
All right, we're not done yet. One more time, we cranked up the old Ford Escape and headed back for another foodie adventure at Proper Eats, this time in late afternoon. Well, hi, friends. It is 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We are back at Proper Eats. And let me tell you, it is way different around here than it was at 7 in the morning. The place is hopping. The whole promenade is hopping. And we have just been walking around trying to decide which of the food stalls we're going to sample for you today. I think Dale's ready. I'm still waffling. So the way you do this, you have to scan the QR code on your phone. You place your whole order and then they text you when it's all ready. So he's decided he's going for Soul Bird and that fried chicken. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do Lola's Burger or a Wexler's Deli Sandwich. Stay tuned. Hopping isn't even the word. Did we mention earlier that Aria's got half a million square feet in convention space? Proper Eats is the perfect spot to take advantage of all that foot traffic. Remember that pristine early morning view of the empty proper bar? <laughs> Yowza, it's anything but empty now. It is cocktail hour, and all those convention goers are making the most of it. Well, that was fun. We waited about 15 minutes. The uh, My order was ready first. FYI, the deli isn't open for dinner, so I went for a Lola's <laughs> smash burger. Yeah, and it looks terrific. you got to get a picture of that, Yeah, too. well, actually, we're going to do the tasting, but what did you get, Dale? I got a sole fried chicken sandwich that is absolutely huge. Can you see this thing? And they're so nice when you go to pick it up. They're I, so sweet. It, when you order, you order on a, on a list, and it, you can tell it whether you want sauces or if you want extra something on it. So I said, I want no sauce and no mayo. Well, when we went to pick it up, he says, you got to try the sauce. It's a barbecue sauce. I didn't know that. <laughs> and I guess that's what makes this particular sandwich famous. So yeah. you do the honors first. All right. Give it a try, I'm, Mr. Dale. I'm going to put a little bit of barbecue sauce let me get all this out of my way. So while he's doing that, let me say, he just decided to get an a la carte drink. I decided to go for the combo on my burger, which includes fries, nice looking fries, and my drink. It was, I think, an extra $10 for that. So we'll share the fries. Look at this, course. my friends. Oh my Look gosh. at the size of that chicken. That's all oh, the breading. That's Come unbelievable. On. Take a bite. Take all right, bite. here we go. <laughs> Again, I keep doing this, and my mouth is big, but not big enough for this stuff. It's not as big as the Holsteins. Oh, the crunch. You should hear the crunch. <laughs> All right. Holy mackerel. All right, you have to show them how big that chicken breast is. Look how big that chicken breast is. Oh my gosh, first, it's an inch thick. First of all, let me get a napkin. First, let me say that barbecue sauce absolutely has to be on there it's unbelievable but that chicken it is it's fried chicken but it's moist it's wet it's absolutely unbelievable if he didn't get that i was going to because when i first came around i knew that Solberg had to be one of our choices i just had a feeling it was going to be extraordinary that's unbelievable big fan oh yeah big fan very very happy with that all right, so my turn. I am going to tear the wrapper on this double oh smash my gosh. burger. <laughs> so I don't even know what all the stuff is on it. We'll put that down below because I'm just going to take a big old bat bite. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mm. So they're thin. Hand formed patties, delicious. Great grilled flavor. Mm. Are there pickles on here? You know what? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, there is on yeah. the bottom. There are. There are pickles yeah. on the bottom. Cheese, great buttery bun, which I was reading about when we were looking at the descriptions. That is terrific. I'm going to try a fry. Try a fry too. Yeah. These look like they're hand cut. Yeah, they do. Salty. Oh, no. well, they don't even need salt. No, they're very good. Those are very good. So, very good. All your condiments, your silverware, your napkins, they're all kind of centrally located. You help yourself to those things. There's a soda pop machine, you help yourself. So it's really kind of a do-it-yourself thing, except for the actual food preparation. 
What do you think? It's I, I like I like this idea. It's really so, sort of kind of cool because you can order at two different places and they all come at the same time. Which is really awesome. You know, I think Block 16 of the Cosmo was the very first one that kind of had this concept. And then, of course, um, Resorts World did the same thing with their street eats. And I think so. This is the third one to kind of do this concept. And I'm I'm really loving it. I'm loving the quality of food and the choices. Big thumbs up. I got eats. I got to put a little more barbecue sauce on there. <laughs> Now we're going to uh, one more we're going to chow this down, and then uh, we'll come back with our, uh, our, uh, our uh, what we think about it, right? We will. My mouth full. Well, that was a treat. Assessment time. <laughs> it was really really good. I don't know you guys. It wasn't cheap. It was sixty dollars for both of us. Although we did give a twenty percent tip, it goes to the people preparing your food. They said, and uh, they were wonderful. Yeah. So they earned it. Um, great burger, salty, yeah. delicious. I ate the whole thing. I, I took a bite of it too. Uh, now, let me tell you about the chicken. It, the fried chicken, I don't know what the batter was, but it was superb. Here's what they did. They used bread and butter pickles. I don't know if you know what those are. They put that on the bottom, a little bit of lettuce, and then that barbecue sauce, you didn't feel it until you took a couple bites of it, and then it was it had a little bite, didn't it? Yes, I tasted it. I agree. It, it snuck up on you. Yeah. It was really, really good. So, and like I, nothing I ever tasted. It really, really unique barbecue sauce. Yeah. So if you're in the area and you just, you know, you want to get something quick and fast and, and good, what's it? Come on over to Proper Eats. Yeah. Now, be aware, some of the stalls are only open for breakfast and lunch. Some of the stalls are only open for lunch and dinner. So do your research. Thanks for coming along with us to Proper Eats twice in the same vlog. Appreciate you coming along with us. We'll see you in just a minute. Well, my friends, that was a quick minute. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very quick minute. I'll tell you what, that food in there was amazing, my friends, but a little bit expensive. In fact, it was uh, everything that we've eaten in the last couple of weeks are a little bit expensive, and they're just basically hamburgers and sandwiches. Yeah, honestly, that was, when you consider $60 for two sandwiches and an order of fries, that's a tad bit more than in and out Burger, isn't it? <laughs> but I'll tell you what, the Aria is one beautiful property. We do love the place. It is so elegant. I love the bright airiness of it. I tell you all the time how much I love Bellagio, but Aria might come as a close second in the MGM. And I'll tell you what, when you walk into the aria it has this certain scent about it it's fabulous and we have that in our house we bought this where'd we get this at at our pals aroma retail <laughs> yes and you can get in there and i think they still have a 10 percent off with our name right they, yeah they do and they always offer discounts if you sign up for their email promotions but um big fans of aroma retail big fans of the aria scent in the air walk into and, our house <laughs> it'll smell like the aria it will so one other thing we'd like to mention is our friends Rod and Lori. They're from Wisconsin, and this was the first time we ever yeah. met them, but we've had a long history with them. We do business with them. <laughs> That's right. We get all of our lip balms from them. If you meet us down on the strip, if we have enough of them, because we give them out so uh, fast, if we do, you can get a lip balm with our logo on it, and it's made by them. Yeah, they're a little mom and pop shop. They have an Etsy shop. We'll give you a link to it in the description box. It's called Happy Bee Lip Balm and Soap. They make soaps, they make bath bombs. Their products are amazing. And boy, are they nice. They're the greatest. Absolutely. And we thank them so much for that fabulous room tour. <laughs> All right, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. Anything else you want to tell these nice people? Paul. You guys, we're this close to 30K. We're within 50 as I speak this. <laughs> Help us get over the top. Make it happen today. All right. Hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye everybody. Thank you.